What's up everybody? Clayton here. Today we are doing a third puzzle box. And I know what you're thinking. It's a lot of puzzle box videos in a row. But don't worry. I am going out this weekend to do a paranormal video at a new location where there's currently a family living there that is having some serious issues. And it's not just them. Their babysitter while watching the children has had some stuff happen. I'll explain that in the other video. This video is about the puzzle box. And right now, I haven't even opened it yet. It's still wrapped. This is a puzzle box from my local puzzle maker. I'll put his link in the description below. I have no clue how to open this one. I've never seen it, never even heard of it. There's something rattling in there. So uh, it's good to see you guys. I'm glad you're here. Let's, uh, let's see if we can crack this box open. Just get right into it. All right. Okay, everyone. Uh, I didn't time myself in the last ones. It's uh, 546 and a half right now. Let's go ahead and open this and see what we can figure out. There is some paperwork on the bottom with his info. I don't know if there's a cheat sheet inside of there. But either way, we're just going to take the paperwork, put it off to the side. And immediately, these things are moving. And it looks like it opens from the bottom. Like, I immediately could tell this box wants to be lifted up. And it looks like these are somehow going to be the combination. But check out that uh, craftsmanship. Creative Craft House makes these. And they have them with different designs on it. Um, there's... Definitely a ball or something in there. These they go every direction. Oh, wow. This is going to be really hard if they have to each be a certain way. Because there's no hints on this box. It's a picture of mountain and trees. There's no numbers. There is this tiny little hole right there. I don't know if that was a mistake. But it doesn't go all the way through. It just, just touches it and leaves. I don't know if that's some kind of a clue. Let's try, let's try every other way. Oh, these two are connected. See that? These two are one piece. Um, and those are separate. On the other side, they are all individual on that side. And on this side, these two are the same. I have no clue what that means. Um, so maybe let's just try a couple patterns. It's really hard with these puzzle boxes when there are no clues. It's really just trying trying different things. I don't see anything in there. I don't know what that ball has to do with it, but I'm wondering since there's a little hole. It's not a hole, it's just a little mark. Hmm, this one might take a while. I'm wondering if these are going to have to pull out all the way. Or if it's just a little bit. I'm wondering if I get like one side, if it'll get looser on that side. Or do I have to do them both at the same, same time? And can you see every one of these pieces of wood? Are actually two pieces. None of them are single block. They're actually two pieces of wood. Which makes me think there's some kind of grooves in there or something. Hmm. There's just no no hint. I think it's just trial and error with this thing. So let's just move one at a time.
It'd be a lot different if there was like uh, some numbers or something to go by. If I hold that, it stays. Let's see if it doesn't do it as much with that one. So push them all up, pull on it. Try and see there's like a groove that that ball will fall in. Look at that, something happened on that side. Just for messing around with it. I really don't want to close it and lose that. Look, it's locked open now. So we did something just from shaking it that allowed that to come out. And most likely these bars here, they probably have a groove in them. And then this piece has a solid bar. And I gotta catch the groove for each one of those. So I'm gonna start at the top. And I think. So we're gonna leave that one there. I don't know what that marble has to do with that. But I got it part way. It's definitely some kind of this has to be an exact way for this to slide out. But if there is a bar here, it should stop one of those now that we have it out a little bit. It is holding. We just got to figure out what the code for these are. Let's do it again. Just keep moving these. I feel nothing on this one, this top one. I think that's because we're past that point. The second one, I'm still feeling resistance. So we got to get past that second one. Just got a little more. Look, there's multiple pins in there. Wow. So we got that side out more than the other side. Let's work on this other side now. Same thing, this top one's loose. The bottom one, I feel something right there. Oh, there we go, there we go. We got it to level two. We got two levels out. This is really cool. Now, there's got to be a way. I bet you you set these all up to a certain pattern and then just lift it right up. We don't know that pattern. We're just kind of experimenting. See that? Oh, I got it. Okay. Let's open it up and see what it looks like. That was just to fool you. It did absolutely nothing. That's cool. It was just to fool you. It was just to trick you and it worked because I kept trying to get that to fall in somewhere. And you got all these levels. And then I was right, that wood has to be in an exact pattern. Look at that. That is really nice. Okay, so that would be the pattern you're supposed to go for that side. And that would allow that bar to come straight out. So this is what you got to remember <laughs> for this side. Oh, it is 59, so it took me about 14 minutes to do that while talking to you guys. And that is just really neat woodwork in there. We just more or less moved it around and got lucky enough till it came up. We didn't solve it, 
but there's not like clues here that says in or out so it really is about luck and just figuring it out but there you have it so there you have it this one wasn't crazy hard it took about 14 we'll call it 15 minutes to solve however we got it by luck we just happen to keep moving around however that's how you solve this puzzle because there are no clues anywhere on here uh they did have this little wood ball in there i think just to trick you and make you think you're supposed to use it for something but you're clearly not it's just to trick you that so that's pretty neat and it's really well made it doesn't feel like cheap wood it feels like you know solid wood not cheap stuff and it's just really cool this is a box I see uh, keeping and using actually putting something in it and if you don't know the combination you're gonna spend a while sitting here trying to figure it out it's really nice looking so thank you to creative craft house i just want to make sure i pronounce that right i will put their link in the description where you can even just go and get one of these boxes i will be going and talking to them so hopefully by the time this video posts i might even have a link where you can get 10 percent off anything on the website i'm hoping um don't quote me on that but that will be coming soon if it's not on this one i hope you guys like the video uh, I, I enjoyed it. I had fun with that. If you like this puzzle box and you want to see more of them, make sure you let me know. I do want to get into doing more puzzle boxes and, you know, testing our brain. This was really neat. This is definitely a keeper. And if we do keep doing this and I start getting up a good inventory of puzzles, then uh, we'll start giving them away. I can't keep these all. So we'll do some contests. We'll do some stuff where you guys can win some of the puzzles in the future. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe. Check out the other ones. If you're new to the channel, thank you for uh, just checking the video out. Please check out the other ones. Give me a chance. Uh, I'll see you guys on the next adventure or the next puzzle. And don't forget, this weekend I am going to a new location. I'll give you a couple spoilers. The people who live there, they don't know the history of the house, but I, I kind of do know a little bit. I'll explain that later, and it is a little creepy. They know nothing of it. Uh, they're just renting it. And I happen to know a little bit about the house. Because I had some experience. Um, I'll explain in the video. But these people are staying there. And the father, they have I think one child, maybe two. And when the father's up at night a lot, he is when stuff happens. And this lad the other night, he heard his uh, child playing in the garage. Like with toys. Like the kind you roll around. He heard the child rolling it around. He's like, what are they doing in the garage? What are they doing up? They should be in bed. So he gets up and opens the garage door, and there's nothing in there. There's no toys. There's no children. That kind of spooked him a little bit. And then he heard uh, another night he was in there, and he heard the doorknob moving on the front door. His dog jumped up and just stared at the door, but he didn't bark. And this is the kind of dog that barks. At int you know, if someone comes to your door, you hear him barking. If, you, if someone's outside, the dog barks. The dog was not barking. He was just standing up, staring at the door. The guy got really scared. He went and got his gun. He was going towards the door. It was moving some more. He opened it up, and there's no one there. And he searched. He went and looked the property. He couldn't find anyone. That's a little spooky. And then the babysitter had an incident where uh, they were watching the child, or children, I don't know yet. I can't remember. And the babysitter called him and said, hey, the shower just turned on by itself. So I'm real excited to go there. We're going to go there this weekend, set up all the equipment, see what we can find. So if you follow the channel because you like the paranormal stuff I do, we're going to have a really good video this weekend, I'm assuming. So I will see you guys around. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, hit the like. It really helps us out, and I will see you guys around. Take it easy.